In the late 2010s, towns around Italy started going viral for selling off crumbling properties for one euro. This is a one euro property. We can't walk in because the floorboards need to be redone and also the roof. The goal? To get foreign investors to buy up the houses, rehab them, and get dwindling population numbers back up. I have never done a renovation like this in my life. There have been four million moments of frustration, exhaustion, contemplation. Of course, there's a catch. The one euro purchase is symbolic and just the start of more expenses down the line. I am making the house of my dream. I'm expecting not to exceed 40,000. That's my budget. I would love it to be here. <laughs> you got a review. Oh my goodness. So how much does it really cost to buy and renovate a one-year-old home in Italy? And is it worth it? This is the town of Sambuca di Sicilia. In 2019, it went viral for auctioning off old homes starting at one euro. My name is Meredith Tabone, and I am 44 years old. In June of 2019, I purchased one of the one euro homes. A friend of mine sent me an article, and the article talked about a small village in Sicily that was auctioning off a home starting at one euro bid. I recognized the name of the village, and it was the same village that my great-grandfather came from in 1902 to the United States. Unfortunately, he was never able to return to Sambuca once he left, and I am the first person in our family to return to this village and to start to rebuild our family name here. So the condition of this property when I first purchased it was dire at best. There was no electricity, there was no running water, there was probably two feet of pigeon poop on the floor. It was very bad, but I still loved it from the moment I saw it. Once buyers get their properties, they have to complete their renovation within a certain time frame, usually three years. Cost for the original one euro home with taxes and fees was about 5,900 euro. Meredith decided to buy the building next door for 22,000 euros through a private sale. It meant more space to build the home of her dreams, but also came with much higher renovation costs. So I'm at the end of my renovation and the estimated completion amount is 425,000 euro. And in today's conversion rate, that would be about $440,000 in US dollars. Welcome to my one euro home that was recently renovated and the name is Casa del Arquitecto, House of the Architect, named for my father. Welcome, Prego. We are now in my dining room, which turned out so great. We are in the downstairs primary bedroom. It's the biggest bedroom in the home. We are in my library and I'm an avid reader, so of course I absolutely love the space. We are now in my bedroom. This canopy bed, it's made of acacia wood. I'm standing right above a sauna. It's a dry heat sauna that I installed and it's beautiful. When I purchased the homes, there were no terraces and we ended up being able to put in two really large terraces. That was another huge structural change. I will never sell this house. I've had many offers. I have a cousin. I've already told her she can have use of the house. If I pass away before her and then after that, it's going to be donated to the village. There you go. There you go. Grazie mille. Thank you. This is wine for a dinner party I'm having tonight. So now that my renovation is complete, I'm thinking I want to try to spend four months a year here. 2024 will be my first experience with that and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> this is one of the places with the most beautiful sunset I ever seen. Mind blowing and an incredible experience.
One of the most well-known towns with a one euro scheme is Musomeli, where more than 100 homes have been sold for one euro. <laughs> in the 50s, roughly 16,000 people lived in town. Today, there are just under 10,000. Purtroppo molti giovani sono andati a lavorare al nord Italia o all'estero appunto per cercare fortuna e per trovare delle condizioni di lavoro migliori. Of course it's always sad when you leave, especially when you leave for work, you leave behind uh, your loved one, your street, your house, everything, so it's very sad that. Musa Meli has seen an especially high level of interest from the public since it launched the One Euro Home Program in 2017. Mi chiamo Totini Grelli e sono il vice sindaco di Mussomeli. Per noi era una cosa molto grande, sono arrivate immediatamente decine di migliaia di richieste. Nel 2017 abbiamo venduto la prima casa, già due settimane dopo il lancio del progetto. Large scale renovations mean more jobs for construction workers. The increase in foot traffic has been a boost for local restaurants and hotels. Il, il turismo a Mussomeli da quando abbiamo il progetto Casa Un Euro è aumentato del 3000%. The town has also sold around 200 premium homes, which start around 5,000 euros and require less repairs. I think pigeons were created here. Ernest Fromm is an American who bought one of these premium homes for 15,000 euros. My name is Ernest Fromm. I'm 54 years old. I purchased this home. I'm very happy with it. It's four stories, two bedroom with a living room. It's big and beautiful. Along with the, the home for 15,000, I got this beautiful piece and these other pieces and uh, another one in my uh, living room. This is what sealed the deal for me. This view, I had to have this. Rubia Daniels is a one euro home buyer. It was just a complete collapse house. The, the roof from the third floor was all the way down to the first floor. Water running into the house, plants growing to the house. There was mold everywhere, has termites. Even though the houses were fully collapsed, it was just excitement for me. Because I work in construction, I can see the final result. This is my one euro home. My name is Rubia Daniels. I am 50 years old. I live in California and I bought three Buonero homes in Sicily. She has three dream projects. A restaurant, a wellness center, and a vacation home. Rubia says renovating a house in Sicily takes a lot more time than it would back in California. Then again, it's also a lot cheaper. I budget the renovation to be about $20,000 and I spend a little bit over that amount. Chiamo Rubia. For $35,000 so far I was able to get an Italian kitchen, my bathroom has beautiful marbles, I have a historical stone wall and the house is just incredible. I'm expecting not to exceed 40,000. That's my top limit of my budget, which I wouldn't be able to do back in California because the cost will be much higher there. This part over here is going to be my office. And I have a balcony that faces the main street. 
This is one of my favorite parts of the house. This is going to be my art studio. This uh, roof was fully collapsed. This part over here is going to be the master bedroom. I can only imagine waking up and seeing this view every day. Incredible view of the valley. This is my second balcony right next to my master bedroom. And this is perfect to sit down, watch the sunset, have a cheese and some wine. Rubia plays a large role in encouraging other Americans to buy into Musa Meli's housing program. I'm Alfredo Ramirez. I am from Petaluma, California, Northern California. Okay, I'm Elena Ramirez. I'm from Petaluma, California. I'm his mom. <laughs> <laughs> on a recent visit, Rubia hosted two friends from California on their first trip to Musa Meli. They used their vacation to tour homes for sale. There is a lot of options here for homes. Bagno, bagno. Bathroom, a large bathroom upstairs as well, as well as the kitchen. And you've got a little terrace as well. Uh, looking around probably 10, 10,000 euro or less. Interested home buyers from around the world visit every week, including the US, Belgium, South Africa, China, and Russia. Yeah, I'm looking for possibly retirement, kind of like a see what's out there in the future, you know? Um, you know, the housing back home is, is uh, very expensive, very crazy, so I just wanted to see what's available in Italy. I saw a house here for 22 grand. I mean, it's quite a steal if you look at how big it is. It's incredible, you know? <laughs> we just need to, to move. I mean, get the, get the catch. <laughs> This is how a uh, one euro house usually looks like. So it's in not a really great shape, but uh, has potential. I mean, it's a one euro house, so you can invest uh, more in renovation. For some, renovations don't always work out. My name is Danny McCubbin. I am 59 years old. Danny made his first visit to Musa Meli in spring 2019, after hearing about its one euro scheme. I always wanted to buy a one euro house, so I saw 27 houses, and then the 28th house was the one that I actually bought. So this is my one euro house. Danny's renovation plans were delayed by the pandemic when he got stuck in London for 10 months. Sadly, in that time, my one euro house suffered a lot of water damage. It was very expensive to renovate. In the beginning, I got a quote around 14, 15,000 euros, and then that cost doubled by the time I arrived here in, in 2020. Danny decided to sell his house back to the real estate agency for one euro, eating the 3,300 euro buying fees in the process. But he was still determined to find a space for his community kitchen. I always wanted to buy a one euro house where I could start a social project. I have a background in food. I worked for Jamie Oliver for 17 years in London. And so a lovely family came back to me uh, with a shop space. And so we negotiated with the family and we now pay 300 euros a month. Each week, volunteers at The Good Kitchen work to rescue surplus food from nearby markets and deliver grocery packages to local families in need. My dream is that one day we will be able to provide jobs, especially for young people in the town. Per me è un fratello. No, Danny, bravo. So, what do all the locals think about this? And how is it impacting the culture? In 2021, a group of young professionals in Camarata started a non-profit called Street2. I'm Gianluca, I'm 30... Sorry, I forgot my age. I'm Martina, and I'm an architect. Ciao. 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 I came back to my hometown a few years ago. I just want to give uh, a chance to my life here. 
The volunteer group advertises cheap houses at a sustainable pace, so prices and changing demographics don't get out of hand. We aim to uh, push away the um, danger of gentrification effects. We want to be sure the original aspect of, this, of the town stays the same. The respect of the old town is the most important thing we believe it needs to be focused on this project. We want to be surrounded by new people. We want to be surrounded by people who can bring something to our own li uh, lives. Yeah. It's also personal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm very happy about all these new people that are coming here. Also, be kind to anyone because we are all human beings, so it's a good opportunity for grow as a person as well. Each town handles its own one euro program, so it's hard to say how many homes have been sold across Italy since the concept took off. Experts estimate the campaigns have attracted thousands of visitors who've bought cheap houses across the country. For me personally, one of the biggest challenges has been the slowness of life. But if you ask me one of the best things about living here, I would probably also say the slowness of life. The biggest challenge for me is just the amount of carbs that they consume. Other than that, life is beautiful. Sì, abbiamo, abbiamo lavorato con altri paesi che vogliono lanciare il progetto Case 1 Euro, eh, uno di questi è il comune di Caltanissetta. Sono stato contattato da un consigliere comunale appunto, che ha voluto lanciare questo progetto a Caltanissetta, lo abbiamo aiutato e da circa due mesi anche a Caltanissetta è nato il progetto Case 1 Euro. Allora, come casa ad un euro sono rimaste ben poche, diciamo sui 10-15 casa, case. Invece delle case in migliore condizione ce ne sono una marea più di più di 100. I do sometimes feel cringy when I have people reach out to me and ask me about if they can purchase a home here and they can renovate cheaply and make money if they use it as an Airbnb. Um, I'm very grateful that I do not know anybody doing that because I do not want this to be a village of Airbnbs. Environmental-wise, I think using those buildings is a much better concept than having to develop something new. A lot of people refer to this as a revival of this town, and I like to think of it more as a renaissance. Mm -hmm.